Today in this video, I am going to share you how I learned my English. I have been asked this question a lot and I had a hard time thinking about how I actually learned my English because I never studied English. That is the fact. my channel V from Venus. I'm White TV. If you're new, hi, nice to see you. And if you're not new, hi, nice to meet you too. Um, so as I said before, today in this video, I am going to share you how I learned my English. So how did I learn my English? First of all, I don't study English and I never studied English. Of course, I went to school, the government school, and it sucks. The teachers will teach English at the government school can't speak English and they teach the students only what's in the textbook because that's their limit. I'm not talking about all the teachers though. Um, so I sucked at English until I was 10 years old. Then um, I moved abroad for three years and that's when I started to learn my English. Is it because I went to school abroad? No, I did not go to any schools. All I did was staying at home, staying at home, that's it. I did not go to any school. Again, I did not go to any international schools. And I did not have any friends and I did not have anyone to talk to because my parents left for work um, before I even woke up and they came back home just before I went to bed. So I did not really have anyone to talk to. Um, and I took a break from school. So yeah, I, I stayed at home by myself. So I watched TV and my favorite show of all time was Fingertips. <laughs> that is literally the best show ever. So did I understand what they were saying? No, I did not understand a single word they said. So what I did was interpreting through the actions. I interpreted the words that they were saying by the actions they were doing. Then I got familiar with the words they said and I understood in which situation to use that words. So if someone asked me what they were saying, I would just say, um, no, I don't know how to say that in um, Burmese. I sucked at translating. Until now, I suck at translating because I don't mix two languages in my brain. Um, when I speak English, I think in English. When I speak Burmese, I think in Burmese. So here is the tip to speak English. If you want to speak English, you have to make a habit of thinking in English. Because if you're thinking in your language and then translate it into um, English to speak it out, that's not gonna work. Your brain is taking some time to perform translating process and that's gonna take forever. So that's gonna result in, um, in um, my um, name is, um, um, you know what I mean? So make a habit of thinking in English. So how did I make a habit of thinking in English? Um, so if you want to learn a new language, you have to make sure that you are exposed to that language 24-7. I would say 24-7 because that's the most effective method I can think of. So does it mean that you have to study 24 hours a day? No, you don't have to study at all. You don't have to study at all. Okay, so I have um, watched some videos of Emmy's YouTubers or influencers or whatever okay don't ask the name i don't i don't know i'm not gonna say it i have seen them suggesting um to set aside one hour of your time to study english every day and they said that would make a big difference in 30 days or whatever days i would say that is wrong that is wrong you study for one hour from the books or from the tutorials in youtube then you watch Korean dramas all day. You think it will make a big difference? You think you will ever be able to speak English? Mm-hmm, you're funny. Did I study English? No. Did I set aside one hour or two hours or three or whatever hours of my time to study English? No, I did not do that. 
Do you know why you can speak your mother language without studying it? Because you are exposed to that environment 24 hours a day. So your brain absorbs everything um, it experiences in five senses. Okay, that's gonna be another topic. It's gonna be brain development. <laughs> so what you have to do is creating your learning environment. So what I did was, as I mentioned above, I watched English series, I watched English movies, um, YouTube videos, um, and what else? Um, a lot. I'll, I listened to English songs and I learned a lot from that. The pronunciation, the accent, and the usage of words, and a lot more. I don't remember, my brain sucks. Then I talked to myself in the mirror. Hey sister! I looked myself in the mirror and acted like I was talking to someone in English. Oh, who's that pretty girl in the mirror? Oh, that's me. Hi, nice to see you. Not like that. So was it because I was passionate about learning English? No, I did not even know the importance of um, English language. I was just having fun. I was just playing. I was um, pretend playing. Sometimes I would just look myself in the mirror and act it like the character that I watched in the movie and I was just talking. Um, actually, I couldn't speak English. I did, not, I did not know how to speak English, but I was just making silly sounds. But in my brain, in my mind, in my heart, I thought I could speak English. I was so confident in myself. Actually, I was just making silly sounds. I was just saying blah, 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 blah in the mirror. And I thought I was speaking English. <laughs> That's where the law of attraction applies. What you think impacts on what you become. So if you think you can do it or you're already capable of doing it, then you can do it, okay? If you think, oh my God, I can't speak English. I don't have confidence um, to speak in English that you would never be able to speak English. So it's very important to expose yourself to an environment where you can learn English. It doesn't mean that you have to stay where the foreigners are. I have met those people in my life who like talking um, to the foreigners. Once they see the foreigners, they won't stop talking. I feel sorry for those foreigners. You are your best partner to practice everything. I'm talking about learning English. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, so look yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself. It's not because you're crazy. Am I crazy? No, you're not. I'm not. Just talk, okay? Just talk in the mirror and watch YouTube videos. They are very helpful. So it doesn't have to be um, language learning videos. You can watch whatever you want to. It could be fashion or it could be um, um, vlogs or anything, but in English, okay? So watch YouTube videos. They're very helpful, especially mine. So speaking of watching um, series or movies, watch something that might help your English. Um, watch something that you can apply in your day-to-day -day conversations, not horror movies or Avengers movie. I mean, I watch those, but let's not go there. I have seen people who watch movies or um, series just to learn English. Pathetic. No, no, that's not how it works. Have fun, enjoy, enjoy the movies or whatever series you're watching. Have fun with language. Learning English is not something that you gotta be stressing about. It's, it's fun, okay? Just have fun with language and never stop having fun. And last but not least, I love to read. Reading is very important, but I don't like to read something that is very literary. You know what I mean? I don't read books that look very literary. I read what I am into. I read what I am interested in. For example, today I'm into manifestation and law of attraction. Then I would search about what I'm into on a Google and read it for the whole day without getting bored. Um, but the next day, maybe I'm into um, zodiac signs. Then I would read about 
zodiac signs on Google. Google is everything. You can search everything you want to on Google and read. So I love to do that and that helps me a lot. Don't be such a lazy ass to do research. That's gonna make a big difference on your learning. So trust me, use Google. You can search everything you want to on Google. Everything. Is it everything? Anyways, read. Don't be lazy to read. Always learn something new. Don't lose interest. So ask yourself, what am I into today? Oh my god, I haven't asked myself today. What am I into today? I was into planets last month, so I read a lot about planets and now I forgot. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. You can forget it. Uh, you don't have to remember everything you have read. You know what I mean? What matters most is to never lose interest. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm gonna end my video here. So um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe my channel for more videos. So stay safe and stay healthy. Don't forget to stay awesome too. Mwah.